So in this video, I'll introduce you to importing GPS vectors with StarNet. And I'll close the project because I'd like you to be able to open this from your exercise files. Go into your materials folder. And open up 31 importing GNSS. So this is a blank project, but it, it just allows me to show you a few relevant settings and uh, give you a little tour of the input menu as regards to GPS. So when you bring GPS baselines into StarNet, then StarNet will automatically presume that um, you've either got a 3D adjustment or it can be a 2D adjustment where you have to designate an average project elevation. That way StarNet will be able to calculate appropriate elevation scale factors. It will also presume that you've got a grid system assigned. Um, and if I browse in here, we can see how we can pick from group and then from subgroup to pick an appropriate uh, coordinate system for the adjustment. You'll find that if you don't have an appropriate coordinate system selected, or if you've got your hemisphere settings backwards, that uh, it'll kind of distort the vectors and you'll get very funny results. So coordinate system is assigned. Um, also, uh, depending on whether you're going to be inputting latitude longitude or not, sometimes you have to uh, explicitly choose your um, longitude sign convention. And uh, depending on whether you're inputting um, Cartesian coordinates as constraint points, you have to designate your coordinate order here as well. Also in the GPS category, um, there's a factor supplied standard errors by value. And uh, typically with post-process GPS, th this um, is somewhere between three and five. What it, what it does is it accounts for the fact that when compared to conventional observations, GPS baselines tend to be overly optimistic. So two to five is a typical good starting point. Uh, apply centering to standard errors. So this is uh, just uh, how much you're going to allow for the setup of the GPS antenna over the point on the ground. How much, uh, how much you want to allow that to vary. So I'll set it to one millimeter for this exercise. Um, and uh, your units, um, these will be both the output units and also the values that will be assumed to be used if you're inputting coordinates. Okay, so I think that's all I have to say about um, GPS import, or oh, there's one other thing here, this is important. Um, if you're using a coordinate system that has a, a different, uh, or that has a datum shift in it, something other than WGS84, so for example, if, you're, if it's a NAD27 system or something like that, then uh, you've got the option of selecting either WGS84 or per coordinate system if you want StarNet to interpret latitude longitude as being in either WGS84, if these are just GPS, or if your latitude longitude is as per a different datum, for example, a NAD27 datum, you'd be using this setting here. But in most cases, WGS84 is all you need to worry about. Okay, and then when it's time to import GPS vectors, in most cases, you'll find you're just going straight to the Import GPS Data tab. And then you're going to pick uh, the source of the GPS data. So most commonly, um, Leica. So that'll be Leica Geo Office or Leica Infinity. Uh, Carlson GPS. This will read the RW5 file from a Car Carlson controller. Ashtec. This will read an Ashtec baseline file. Microsurvey Field Genius. This will read the uh, vectors from the raw file from RTK data. You can convert an NGS OFIS report into point records. If you're using Trimble Business Center for post processing or a number of other uh, post processing programs that allow for export in Trimble data exchange format, then that's the option that you'll choose right here. 
and there's a few others in there, but uh, those are the those are the highlights. In terms of options, once you've chosen your option, then you've got a few other options to specify here. Over here, um, this will give you a little preview after you do an import, and if there was a problem, then you'll get some information about the problem here that uh, will help you to troubleshoot it. Okay, and I'm not going to do an import, but I've given you a little bit of a tour of GPS and the relevant settings. Thanks very much for your interest.